If you are a passionate horse lover, you may have dreamt of taming a wild horse, especially the majestic Mustangs that roam the western United States. These horses have a reputation for being fierce and independent, with little or no human contact. How would you feel if you could tame one of them and form a lasting bond? In this video, we will explore the challenges of taming a wild horse, the secrets of their behavior, and the step-by-step -step process to win their trust and friendship. So let's get started. Now, let's connect the dots as we explore the intricacies of taming a wild horse. It's a journey that demands time, careful training, and heaps of patience. Unlike horses accustomed to human interaction, Mustangs and other wild horses require a more extended transition period to be ready for a beginner rider. The initial challenge, well, it's about overcoming the fear that comes with riding a wild, unpredictable horse, urging us to approach this task with utmost caution. So, let's take a closer look at the challenges and nuances of this captivating endeavor. Venturing into the heart of our discussion, taming a wild horse is no small feat, especially for those new to the game. It calls for a solid understanding of basic animal behavior and the confidence to be around these majestic creatures. The initial hours play a pivotal role. This is when we lay the foundation for trust and respect between the horse and the handler. Picture it as a dance, where the handler must assert dominance and leadership, reflecting the hierarchical structure within a horse herd. Each step is crucial, setting the stage for a successful partnership. The better the rider is with non-verbal communication with the horse, the faster the horse gets accustomed to the rider. Horses, being herd animals, respond to dominant and assertive body language, making it a critical aspect of the taming journey. Let's break down the essential steps to tame a wild horse in a simple, easy-to-understand manner. Understanding the horse's perspective. To start, it's important to think about things from the horse's point of view. They might be scared and see us as a potential threat. So, we acknowledge that fear and seek advice from experienced handlers before we begin. Guidance from those who know the ropes. Introduce the wild horse to tamed companions. We want to make the wild horse feel more at ease. We introduce them to horses that are already used to people, like friendly companions. We approach the wild horse calmly, using a soft voice, and sometimes, a treat to create positive feelings. It's a bit like helping them make friends. Earn the horse's trust. Building trust is a gradual process. Spend time with the horse regularly, using positive reinforcement and treats to create a friendly atmosphere. Take it slow, letting the horse get comfortable with our touch bit by bit. It's like building a friendship. W lots of patience. Groom the horse. Think of grooming as a spa day for the horse. Regular brushing helps them relax, and we use gentle strokes to keep them calm. It's like giving them a massage to make them feel good. Introduce the horse to lunging. Now, as we progress, we introduce the horse to lunging, a bit like introducing them to exercise. But we do it step by step, starting with walking and gradually moving to trotting and cantering. It's like helping them learn a new routine. So here you go. Taming a wild horse is about understanding their feelings, making them feel comfortable, and building trust through simple, patient steps. It's like making a new friend and taking things at a pace that suits them. Moving forward in our exploration of calming techniques for wild horses. Just as we understand their perspective, it's equally important to implement actions that help ease their nerves in unfamiliar situations. Wild horses, like humans, can become nervous in unfamiliar situations. Implementing specific steps can help calm a wild horse. Utilize a calm and soothing tone when interacting with the horse. Move slowly, avoiding sudden movements that may startle the horse. Allow the horse to inspect its surroundings to alleviate a needs. Stay calm and composed during any adverse reactions from the horse. Maintain slow and relaxed breathing to convey a sense of calmness. Building the horse's confidence is a cornerstone of successful taming. As the handler, 
Instilling confidence in the horse's mind is paramount. This involves exposing the horse to various stimuli, gradually familiarizing them to frightening situations, desensitizing them to potentially frightening situations. Confidence-building exercises contribute not only to successful taming, but also to creating a well-adjusted and responsive equine companion. Establishing a routine is instrumental in the taming process. Horses thrive on predictability, and a consistent practice provides a sense of security. From feeding times to grooming sessions and training exercises, a well-structured routine helps the horse understand what to expect, fostering a stable and comfortable environment. Beyond the physical aspects of taming, there's a profound emotional connection that develops between the handler and the wild horse. It's not merely about taming a creature, it's about forging a partnership based on understanding and cooperation. To comprehend a wild horse's behavior, it's crucial to delve into their social structure. In the wild, horses live in herds with defined hierarchies. The process of taming involves establishing yourself as a leader in the horse's mind, gaining their trust as a reliable and benevolent guide. Understanding the dynamics of a horse herd aids in interpreting the cues and responses during the taming process. Taming a wild horse is a test of your patience and persistence. It's essential to understand that progress may be slow, and setbacks are a part of the process. Each horse is unique, and the time it takes to build trust varies. Amidst the challenges, celebrating milestones is essential. Whether it's the first time the horse willingly approaches or successfully completes a training session, acknowledging these achievements reinforces positive behavior. These small victories mark progress and contribute to the overall success of the taming journey. So here is the wrap. Taming a wild horse is a multifaceted adventure. It requires a deep understanding of animal behavior, a commitment to patience and persistence, and an appreciation for the unique bond that forms between humans and horses. Thank you for joining us on this comprehensive exploration of taming wild horses. If you found this video insightful and are eager to delve deeper into the world of equine connections, please subscribe to Animal Farm for more enriching content. Until next time, may your journey with horses be filled with understanding, patience, and the joy of forging lasting bonds. If you want to check out some interesting facts about polar bears, check out this amazing video.